welcome to my channel. We are decorating for spring and for Easter today. And I don't know about you, but I am just so ready for a fresh start and warmer weather. I had a goal to decorate for Easter, but still keep it simple and refreshing and classy and just homey without feeling like the Easter Bunny came and laid a bunch of eggs all over my own. So I would love to know what you guys think. I am so excited about this video. I feel like it's the best that I've decorated, especially for spring. So I would love to know what you guys think. Give this video a like, subscribe if you wanna hang out some more and let's jump into the video. All right, you guys, we are starting off this clean decorate with me with some jazz and some coffee to get ready to tackle my formal living room. I hope you get some cleaning motivation and lots of ideas for some spring decor for your own home in this video. I can really nerd out on home decor in general, but pastels are my love language all year round, so I am in my happy place right now. I'd love to know if you decorate your home for spring or are you here for the cleaning motivation. Let me know you're here and what you do in the comments below. So over the past few days, I've taken everything out of our formal living room, just gave it a blank slate, a fresh start, and I was just putting everything back and giving this place a good wipe down. It needed it. So I'm thinking of doing a spring deep clean in the next video and really decluttering everything, almost like a KonMari style, and I have some more decorating to do. So if that's something you would like to see, I am ready for all the spring cleaning. All right, so now for the fun part, I got this garland from Michael's and I thought it looked perfect for spring and then these rope bunnies. I got these from Target and they definitely started some weird bunny obsession that I have because I bought way too many of them. Weird trick, if you can't get your candles to stick up straight, just light the bottom of the candles and let the wax melt and they will stick up straight perfectly every time. Moving on to the couch, I got that white pillow from Anthropology, and then ordered some slip covers off Amazon just to change them up for the season. Also, if you have any questions where I got something, just let me know in the comments and I will definitely get back to you. So now we are moving on to the coffee table. For the coffee table, I added a beautiful Disney book that I got from Amazon, some pompous grass that I already had. I love the way pompous grass makes a room just feel light and airy. Then this candle I got from Target, I will link it below. It smells so good and almost like a man getting out of a shower in the best way possible. So this book that I'm adding is very special to me. It was sent to me by my grandmother a few months ago. She passed away in February and she was my best friend in the entire world and just the best woman I've ever known. So these last few weeks have definitely been a process, but keeping pieces that remind me of her in my home just really helps continue our bond even though she's gone and I just look forward to honoring her every single day. So just finishing up the mantle, adding a few more pieces, and then moving on to the dining room. I am way too excited for these Easter decorations in my dining room. So I just started by removing everything that was already on there, gave it a good wipe down with the Mint Method Cleaner. And I actually borrowed this vacuum from my mom and I don't know how I lived without it with dark hardwood floors. I used the, um, I think it's the Shark Robot Cleaner, but I need one of these. And yes, listening to Megan Trainer, I love her. And that Bath & Body Works candle is so delicious. I am a freak for candles. Yes, having a dance party, that guy you can see outside the window was laughing at me and just smiling and I caught him and I think we're best friends now. Mm -hmm. 
So now for my favorite part, I started off with a table runner I got off of Amazon. I love that it's neutral and just gives a soft look to the glass table. That wreath is from Target. I got all of my inspiration for this table from this rabbit that I also got from Target. I had an idea for what I wanted the centerpiece to look like, but I just had fun with it. I'm genuinely decorating with you guys. so. I was actually very surprised on how it turned out. I would love to know what you guys think. I picked up these flowers from Trader Joe's. I feel like their flowers are so affordable and I love the way fresh flowers look, especially for spring. These giant eggs I got from Home Goods. I love how they are festive without being over the top. You know what I mean? Just neutral and beautiful. So for the plates, my grandmother actually gave me some beautiful floral plates a couple years ago and she had these as I was growing up all throughout my childhood and they're just so special now and definitely through this season just a way to remember her and honor her and it actually went beautifully with the rest of my table. It was perfect for spring and I love thinking of her when I look at them. So now for the big daddy. I am going to be doing a deep clean on this kitchen. I'm starting by picking up literally everything, even the appliances, so I can really get in there and get the job done. You, you gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. You, you will never regret the things that we'll do. Cause I While I'm cleaning, I love listening to audiobooks to just help <laughs> pass the time by. So if you have any good books that you're loving, I would love to know. I am currently listening to Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert, and it is so good. I think this is probably my fourth time listening to it, and I've definitely cried <laughs> while listening. It has helped me so much, so if you haven't read that one yet, it is definitely in my top 10, so I would highly recommend it. So I am really curious and would love to know if you guys would like longer cleaning content in my videos. I personally love watching people clean and declutter. I find it so satisfying, but I only want to post content that is actually motivating and helpful for you guys. I really started growing in so many areas once I was able to keep my space clean and easy to move through, so I totally get it. If you are all about the longer cleaning parts of videos, let me know and I would be more than happy to post more of that. So now that the kitchen is clean and feeling good, it's time to move on to one of my favorite things to do for any season, any holiday, any occasion is a tiered tray. So going in with all the Ray Dunn pieces, I have a sick obsession with Ray Dunn 
and I like to start off the tiered tray with the bigger pieces and then I go in with the smaller pieces after that but just have fun with it I rearrange sometimes it doesn't fit it's no big deal that bunny I got off I believe from home goods most of this stuff from the tiered tray is from home goods <laughs> found these little daisy sugar cubes off of Etsy and I had to have them especially for spring. I thought they would go perfectly in the little sugar set that was perfect for Easter. I felt really cute about that, <laughs> not gonna lie. And then just added some fresh flowers. I couldn't tell if I wanted that salt and pepper shaker set on there just because I didn't want too much Ray Dunn, if that's even a thing, but just too many words. I get a little bit crazy about the aesthetics. Yes, those are my kids slow dancing in the background. Added a little butterfly to the bunny's nose. Switched out that set for the eggs. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the eggs? The salt and pepper set? I think it turned out. So I wanted to show some love to the smaller areas of my house. I picked up this lamp. It is from the Studio McGee line at Target. I love it. It went perfectly in this space. And then those printables are from Thread Mama on Instagram, I believe. I fell in love with this little Easter pick thing that went in the flowers, but in this moment I realized my husband has to hate me for all the bunnies and the pink. He is a great sport. Added some butterflies just to top it all off. And then my mom called me wanting to know if I wanted some of her Studio McGee things right when I was decorating. So it was fate. We definitely share the love for decor and I love how this space turned out. So really quick, I wanted to share this little mini charcuterie board that I made for my kids. They have been so helpful and so sweet the past few weeks. So I wanted to do something special for them. Added these orange butterflies. And then I started with doing a salami rose in the center, but I had um, another idea that I wanted to do so you could do that. But this borson cheese is amazing if you haven't had it added some peeps some little candies i thought that kind of looked like a nest so it really fits with the theme added some crackers and the kids were very happy all right you guys the final tour of how the decorations turned out if you made it to the end of this video i appreciate it so much I hope you enjoyed it and got some inspiration. Subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye.